And this is uh, Chad Bajay from Edmonton Impact, and I'm going to show you how to sort of play this SPL layout, at least how I would. Um, for me so far, this field's very open. Uh, it's very easy to shoot people off the break, and it's going to be very easy to get shot off the break. So for you bat guys, it's going to take a lot of edging and sort of shoot out their, their floaters in the back. So I'll sort of show you how I would do that. Um, the first key shot, especially on the Cerrito side, is going to be getting the tall tower kill um, off the board. To get that kill, you're going to have to stand off to get your shot, but also watch for the paint coming back in from the other guy. So uh, you're probably going to have to come out, take your shot, and edge back up the middle and get yourself out of the tower. But it's very crucial that you get these kills. If you can kill one of the wide guys off the Dorito wire, it'd be much easier to get to the 50 and get to their side. Um, I think the Dorito side is definitely going to win this field. A snake side, you have to get almost to their snake to really get any shots. So come back and show you guys the Dorito shots. Carrying on from where we left off. Uh, so we shot our shots off the break on the Dorito side, and now we made it out to this wide tower. Uh, this tower is going to be pretty crucial in my opinion. Uh, it stops the wire moves very well. On this layout especially, the corners can't see the wire. So, you know, if you look down here behind me, you know, I've got my mirror shot. I can stop the corner guy from going. I can stop a move to the 50. Pretty much everything's really good here. And for a snake guy to shoot me, he has to get all the way to snake 3 or the 50. So, I'm pretty protected in this bunker. So, I think this is going to be crucial on this field. Also, if I come out to the corner like I was telling you, it's okay to making the move out of here, but as far as protecting your guys and stuff like that, this corner is not going to really be that effective. So, um, on this field, I think it'd be a great idea to sort of run your wide, your your lead guy out here wide, and then he can take his moves up the wire from the inside possibly. You have to shoot in a couple guys, but once you get this Dorito side, I mean, it's it's pretty safe. I mean, you got to pick your shots very wisely. Um, really work together with your team, make sure everybody's in who you need to be put in. And uh, the Dorito side, in my opinion, is definitely going to win this layout. Um, you come around, you've got shots here on the corner and the tower. You get up here. Snake still can't shoot you, so you're still pretty safe here. You still got a shot on the tower, the corner, on the snake side. Um, you wrap around. Now you've got shots on the Aztec and the, the stand-up tower. Now you can take your move to the 50. You've got to watch for the snake uh, shooting this gap in here when you're taking your moves. But once you get to the 50, <laughs> it's going to draw a lot of guns to you. Um, but once again, you can shoot out tower and corner. Uh, if, if those guys are dead, you're free to take your move up the wire and hopefully get some bunker kills. Uh, I'm going to talk about sweet spotting off the break. Uh, on the snake side, this, this home bunker is pretty safe. Um, you can put two bodies in here, no problem shooting both sides. So I think two guys off the break shooting is going to be crucial. Uh, you have two very wide open lanes for both of the towers. If you can kill them, it's going to make it very hard for the lead guys to, to play their role. So just off the break, I mean, it's literally just turn and a wide open shot. You've got a first shot for the tower. Then you can switch it and you've got a shot for the corner. So that's really nice. Then on the snake side, the same thing. We can just turn our gun off the board, shoot right over the pin, got a perfect blind spot for the first tower, and then the snake lane's wide open. So I think it's really crucial to have two guys shooting off the break on this field, and hopefully you guys can get a lot of kills. Take you guys to the snake side. Uh, same as the Rito side, the, the tower's a very good bunker. Uh, if you look down the wire, it's very open. You can't get shot by your mirror. Um, it's just very good for controlling the snake side. Uh, you, you can stop the snake move, you can shoot drop shots into the snake. Uh, the only thing you got to be careful of in this bunker is like I said on the Dorito side, the guy in the 40 Dorito has shots on you. So it's sort of a blind shot. So if you hear 40 Dorito, you're going to have to play this bunker a lot lower. Uh, you just got to be aware of the guys on the Dorito side on this field. Um, so from here though, it's not a bad idea to either. From here you can fill into the snake, take the, take the wire moves, or come out to the corner. Uh, just like on the other side though, the corner doesn't see the wire that well. So if you come out here, it's mainly only if you have a snake guy and uh, he wants to take the move. Uh, you really just want to have this guy shooting back at his mirror and uh, just drop a paint in on him. Once again though, if you get here, you need to be uh, aware of the Dorito guys. You could definitely get shot in your back. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, there's a shot in between the pins right into your pack here. And then if they make the 50, obviously. Um, the snake side, it's kind of blocked off a little bit once you get in there. Uh, you got to get pretty far up to get shots on the, on the other side lead guys. Um, so in this snake, in my opinion, I would just say get in it and just keep on going until you see something. 
Um, when you get here, you've got a shot cross field on the tower. Um, if you back up, you got a shot on the Aztec on the Dorito side. Um, got to go forward to get any more. Obviously, we come here. We don't really have too many shots from, from stake two, so we keep on going. <coughs> stake three, now we've got the back right, the, the stand-up tower, and the Dorito Aztec. Uh, we still can't really see the Doritos at all, uh, so for us to get a kill on him, we're going to have to shoot down the wire and, and take our move into the Dorito and uh, get up in here to really cause something to happen. Uh, from here we still have pretty much all the same shots as, as Snake 3 but now we start getting into the Dorito shots. Now we can shoot the 40 Dorito and um, from here you're pretty much just gonna sit here get the kills you can and just being in this bunker is gonna draw all the guns to you so it's it's pretty crucial just to get here and stay alive. Uh, if anything a guy's gonna come bunker you out and and you're going to trade out with them, or at least hopefully when your other guy shoots them. And uh, other than that, just keep going down the field and find the kills you can.